You and I laughing at your joke, okay? New guy, he no laugh. He cried. Welcome back to Kayfabe Science, the only fake science show on the internet that thinks that Gorilla Glue is made by boiling gorilla feet. I'm your host, Don't Sweat the Technique, Dr. Dave, and today's episode is The Gorilla Press. Probably most famously done by the Ultimate Warrior, this move has been done by other wrestlers such as the British Bulldog and even China. Now, not to be confused with a French press, but to be confused with a military press because, well, they're the same move and can both be done in a variety of different ways. Including dropping your opponent behind you, in front of you, into the ropes, onto a turnbuckle, and also into a forward slam. Furthermore, let's not forget that as impressive as this press is, it can get even better still by raising the roof on the opponent while they're in that gorilla position. Talk about pump up the volume while riding the airwaves. Either way, no matter who or how one chooses to commit gorilla warfare, this maneuver is still going to require some pretty hefty hoss horsepower. But just how pumped up a kick are we talking about here? Well, when we look at actual gorillas, they sure do pack a pretty powerful punch, with the average ape's wallop ranging anywhere from 1300 to 2700 pounds of pure force. And while that's as much power that's contained in a gorilla in a fist, the average human only possesses about 150 pounds of force in a punch. Mm. Furthermore, a gorilla's overall strength is estimated to be about 10 times their own body weight on average. And a fully grown silverback is stronger than 20 human beings combined. And they can bench press 2 tons. Man, that is a lot of bananas. Okay, so now clearly this is one test of strength that even your strongest wrestlers aren't going to ace. But stop the presses, because while that may be how strong a gorilla is, perhaps we're asking ourselves the wrong question. As we shouldn't be thinking about how to lift like a gorilla, but rather we should be thinking about how to lift one instead. Well, while the largest silverback on record weighed 589 pounds, the average male gorilla only weighs around 300. And when we convert that to metric, carry the one, subtract the dividend, multiply by x, and we get a lot. And when it comes to the female of the species, well, they weigh in on average ranging anywhere from 150 to 200 pounds, which really isn't that bad at all. Hey, in fact, the females could even compete at 205 live. I wonder if Jane Goodall would be a good commentator. Uh, no matter how much it is, this weight really isn't out of the range for a lot of wrestlers. Even if it still is, really heavy, Doc. Back to future reference, because I'm dirty. And so, while it is still a highly remarkable feat, the pressing issue of pressing 300 pounds directly over your head is still in the realm of possibility for many a capable wrestler. And wouldn't you know, the Ultimate Warrior has gotten it on like Donkey Kong with Hulk Hogan. And the Hulkster, at times, has clocked in at three bills. Coincidence? I think not. Well, there you go, the kayfabe science behind the 300 pound gorilla in the room. I guess that's something to really go ape about. <laughs> 